And here's just a nice view of the sheep. It's about two in the afternoon. We normally feed in the morning, but it's been so darn chilly lately. We've moved to a little bit later in the day to give the tractor a little bit easier time to start. Anyway, Jason rolled out one bale and he's coming out with another one. But you can tell the sheep spend most of their time just right here, kind of in this oval. And then they have all kinds of space. And that's just one area they could go to. But you can tell no tracks, no sheep. They just kind of like to stay in the valley and eat here. And I should say, it's nice this afternoon. It's upper, upper 20s. Might even be cracking freezing. But we have not had that happen for quite a while. So mostly what we are doing up in the barns is dealing with a lot of frozen water. And these gals do a fine job out here. Just with the snow on, they don't do too much traveling. Then you can see with this hay, they're leaving quite a bit. So that's the reason for the two bales. And the other thing is, you can tell the sheep are kind of in a crazy pattern. Because up until today, the outside of the bales have been frozen. So Jason just drives and drives until they come undone. normally starting out with like a horseshoe shape but you go until it it gets enough wobbly that it falls off and you can hear the tractor in the background he's grabbing the other bale and then the water for these gals is down the valley if you look you can see the little trail But really, they stick nice and tight up here. You know, part of me really likes the snow because it's so much easier to see at night. Especially with the shorter days, although we are getting a little bit longer now. But the other part of me could use a little bit of a melt. They like to zoom around to make sure that the other sheep don't have something they're missing out on. Which is all the same bale, so that's not really the case, but it doesn't stop them from spying around. Then I can hear Jason headed back out here, so we'll wrap this up. Do want to say, K 
Ken from Hawaii emailed me saying that his prices for hay, $47 for a bale. Holy cow. A little square bale. So, wowzer. That's crazy talk. Anyway, you can hear Jason coming up over the hill. Despite the nice day, my fingers are starting to get a little cold. He's a cute little ewe lamb. Anyway, that's what we got from the field today. If you have any questions, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Anyway, have a super day. And here's the results of bale number two. We had a hard time getting the netting off of it. The outside was frozen. Which is funny because he opened them up. These some bales are coming from the yard. So he cut the plastic off up there. Gave him a couple hours in the sun. That should have done it. But didn't for this one. Anyway, there's a good view of the sheep in the valley there. And for anybody who might be interested, Grandview Livestock just put out a video on the economics of holding over kids and lambs as in keeping them a little bit longer to put on weight and then selling them after I thought he said between 30 and 60 days of extra feed what's the difference what does that do for you as the livestock producer versus just selling them more like in November when a lot of other folks are selling them because that's when your pasture is running out So anyway, it's a neat video. If you're looking, if you like more of the numbers aspect of things, check it out. And that's it for me.